How we doing? Good. How are you? Good. Hot one today. Yes, sir. Hot one, humid, just like we like it. I wish it was like this every day, but it was good for our guys to work. Got in some good work today. Uh, obviously heading to Detroit. Got a big game coming up uh, for a lot of guys. I mean, a lot of opportunities are still out there for some of our players. They need to continue to work. Uh, last opportunity for our guys to earn their stripes, earn opportunity to be on this football team. Was Josh able to do any more today? Uh, he's, he's done a little bit more every day. You know, so he's getting closer, uh, much closer, and so that that's exciting. What does it look good for Thursday for him? For Josh? Yeah, go, oh no, he's not oh, playing Thursday. Yeah, he won't play Thursday. Uh -uh. Can you say a little bit more? Is he doing more than what we're seeing him do off the side with the trainer? Yeah, I think he's hiding someplace else and doing it. And no, he's doing a little bit more. He's catching. Um, you know, again, getting in there with the offense a little bit, making sure he's on the same page with the guys, and um, pretty soon we'll progress to running routes and having him practice. In terms of coaching him up for Pittsburgh, if he would play against Pittsburgh, what are the uh, issues for you about um, having a guy who didn't play in the preseason be right? No, it's tough. As I said before, he's not going to start anyway. You know, that, that's not going to change. Uh, we'll come up with the right package for him to play. You know, I wouldn't expect him to go play the whole game or, or anything like that. Uh, but I expect him to contribute to the football team um, when we get ready to play Pittsburgh, if he's ready to go. So even if he's 100% ready to go, he will not start against Pittsburgh? I'm sorry? I don't care if he is 100%. He's not starting against Pittsburgh. I've already said that. Has Callaway been working out again? Yeah. No, he's back out there. Yeah, he was out there practice. He, he needs to get back to where he was. You know, obviously, you're out a little bit, and uh, you got to push yourself through it. you got to get back. Is he a guy who needs to play? To yes, he will game? play. He will play. Uh, yesterday, Greg Williams kind of called out Denzel a little bit uh, for his captain. Question to you is, are you totally fine with you know whatever Greg? No, it's not whatever Greg. Greg doesn't get to do just what he wants to do. I mean, so we got we'll we'll work through all of that. But our players got it. There's a certain way we do want them to tackle because of size, structure, and all that. We don't want a guy to get hurt or anything like that. I mean, I'm sure Greg does advise, but we don't need to do all that stuff in the media. On the health up front, in terms of getting key guys through to the opener. How are you doing on that front? Uh, I think we're getting them there. I think uh, hopefully we'll have a healthy football team when we get ready to play. You know, I, I think that's important. I, our best opportunity to win is to have um, 53 of the best guys and 46 on game day that can really play. So I think that's what we're working towards. Thank you. Cooley and uh, Vitaly, do you think they'll be ready to go by week one? I'm sorry. Cooley and then Vitaly, and they've both been out for a while. Cooley I feel real good about. Uh, I think he's really, really close. But Tally, I, I think there's still more work to do. Can you estimate how many decisions, roster decisions, might be up for grabs in this Detroit game? Um, a handful, more than Yeah, that? I mean, less than a handful, handful, whatever all that is. Um, there are some up for grabs, so there's no question about that. With Zeit back, you got your starting five mm -hmm. on the offensive line. How comfortable are you with that group? After what you've seen, and are there any areas of concern after the first couple of preseason games? Well, I think once Kevin gets back, my biggest concern is he needs to play football. You know, he's practicing now. Um, I would, I would hope, you know, to get him to play a little bit this week because I think he needs it. Um, you know, we just kind of go from there. I feel good about the five starters that we'll put out there. It's going to be the best five guys we can put out there. So uh, I feel good about the line heading in. Now they got to go do it, do it in a in a real game. But I feel good about that. Will you put them together Thursday night just to give no. them some reps together? No, no. I, so you guys know I'm not playing the starters in this game. So you guys can, you guys been looking for that. They <laughs> won't, they won't play. You know, so specific guys will play and play quite a bit, and then we'll let some other guys finish the game. What are your thoughts on that? Why, why won't you play the starters? I don't, I don't want to take a chance. You know, I think uh, our our guys. The best team we're going to have, you know, for 2018 season is going to be the team we tried out against Pittsburgh. So I think I got to keep them healthy and get them ready to go. I think I've seen enough in practice and watching a, a, a lot of the tape. Uh, there are some things we got to get better at, some things we got to improve on, but I think we can do those things in practice and get better at them. So does that open up a chance for Baker to get a lot of playing time in? It That's opens up for Baker to play quite a bit, yes. Yesterday, Greg talked about how he's surprised that Miles was able to play through that ankle that he suffered mm -hmm. right before the season last year. Did you feel the same way? Was it that bad? Were you surprised? That they I mean, it was it was bad, but again, the guy's the first player to draft. You, sometimes you got to do those things, you know. Uh, it was tough. He got he fought through it, and that's what pro players got to do. I think Greg did a good job with him. We got him to the game every opportunity he had. He made some plays. 
it was tough, but but he he did good things last year. Has he had a couple of nicks across the course of uh, camp in the preseason games? And how close to 100 percent do you anticipate it will be? Uh, Miles Garrett next week getting ready for. Preseason? I don't think he has any nicks. Yeah. I, I think he's uh, going to be 100 percent. You know, that was one of my goals uh, when we came to training camp. Let's make sure that this guy gets to the first game healthy as he can be and, and ready to go. And I think we've seen that. So I'm excited about, um, you know, the the first game getting here because I think he'll be totally healthy and ready to play. You may not have decided this yet, but are you talking like a half for Baker possibly? Possibly, yes. Mm -hmm. I hear you feel like now that Josh is here, though, that it was a, there's a little silver lining that all those young guys got reps and got to see what they could do. Absolutely. Yeah, because he probably was here. Uh, there's some other young guys we wouldn't have known as much about, you know, but, um, you know, again, we want all our players here when we come. But the fact that he's here now, I mean, as you guys know, the last two years, we've never had Josh Gordon to start a season. So uh, I think this is uh, going to be good. At the same time, he's got to get in football shape, you know, get in rhythm with the football team uh, and do those things. But I am excited that he's here for game one and not game 11, you know, or whatever that is. So I, I think that's exciting for all involved. How much more polished is Higgins at this uh, time of the summer than he was? Uh, at this I, I think he's really improved. He's one of the most improved <laughs> players. I truly believe that. Uh, you think about year one, uh, year two, you know, he started contributing. Obviously, a young man got cut, you know, before the first game. Made it back, made plays, and now you see him now, and he's a contributing member of the offensive football team. Does he have to get open by being uh, savvy as opposed to using whatever you want to call it, average NFL speed or whatever? Yeah, he has a, you know, again, he had the longest touchdown catch and run last year for our team, you know, against Pittsburgh. So um, whatever that is, he has it. You know, he has enough speed on game day uh, to make those plays. I, I think sometimes speed is – obviously we all want it, but I think that's a little overrated. Can a guy play and play fast and play consistently throughout a game? I think that's what's important. Are you aware of what the Lions plan to do in terms of their starters? Or are you doing what you want to do independent of I'm doing what I want to do uh, independent of what they do.